That, isn't it? Hey. Lovely, that, isn't it? Hey. It's really lovely, that. Isn't it? Hides that goat patch nice. <laughs> Who is it? They're not relations of yours, are they? No, Mr. Funny Guts, they ain't. For your information, that is your four generations. A picture of historical rarity. Yeah? Where'd you get it? Sotheby's? No, I did not. I got it where I got a picture of him. And him. In the junk shop. Yes, in the junk shop. <laughs> where all of England's great men end up. And all of England's great history. Covered in cobwebs. But we will rise again. Do you worry about that? We will rise like lions and get our empire back. The bloody great British Empire that your bloody labour rubbish give away to. To the people it belong to. To a load of bloody coons and wogs. <laughs> <laughs> Make such a muck up of it, they'll have to come over here and scrounge all from us. <laughs> oh, here we go. Packy bashing again. Look. Don't start him off. Oh, me? Look. You know he don't like him. I don't like him. I don't like them. Well, you don't. They don't bloody like each other. <laughs> so why should I bloody well like them? God blimey, that was at his other's throats only a little while ago. I mean, it's one half of them trying to shoot and starve the other half. So don't talk to me about not liking them. Look, that was a religious war, that was. Oh, yeah, go on, blame it on God. Blame it on God. It's marvellous. <laughs> Anything that happens these days, it's his fault, isn't it? Eh? Blame it on that man. God blimey. <laughs> I bet he's beginning to wish he'd never made us now. <laughs> Listen, if any religion's caused wars, Sonny, your religion's caused most of them. What religion? That bloody ace king queen jack lot you belong to. <laughs> Some lot you tried to inveigle him into joining. Come on, get out of it. Out of it, sit oh, there all night. Finish feeding him. You know all about that. He should be in bed by now, shouldn't he? I told you, keep him up too late. Hey. Well, it's my bloody chair, isn't it? <laughs> oh. And another thing, see, what we've done out there in that India is we educated them, didn't we? Yeah, and we built a bloody railway for them and all. Yeah, well, if we build it, I bet it doesn't run on time. And, <laughs> and we, we stopped them burning our bloody wives out there, didn't we? Yes, because in the old days out there, you see, when the husband died, they used to take his wife and bung her on a bonfire with him. <laughs> <laughs> And that made them a bit careful about what they cooked for their husbands. <laughs> about, about what they fed him. Yes. And about his general health condition. <laughs> and if they heard their husbands upstairs coughing his heart out, they didn't sit down here watching bloody television. Because <laughs> they knew that if he died, they'd bung her on a bonfire with him. I'd burn for you any day, Pig. <laughs> There, now look what you've done. Oh, blimey, ain't it fair, ain't it bloody fair? Every time that baby cries, it's my fault, ain't it? Yeah, even when I ain't here, it's my fault, ain't it? Couldn't be your fault, could it? Oh, no, no, standing in front of him all day and poking him and pouring, pouring bloody milk down his throat all day long. And da da di 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 do di do da da di Of course he's gonna cry. Blimey, must think he's been born in a land of bloody halfwits. <laughs> and far wrong neither. Bloody women. Well, it's all right letting them have them. They've got no idea how to bring children up. Give him a football, that's what they ought to give him. Oh, shut up, Dad. Football is too good for football. Yeah, this way, he'd have him in football boots now. Yeah, yeah. so would his dad. Okay. Well, why not? Where all the great ones start, innit? In a cradle. Yeah, hey, look at his little legs go. Look at his legs go there. Get him a football, pair of boots. Be happy as a sand boy, Will. Well, I'm not to see him now down at West Ham, sweeping up at the back. It's not doing no sweeping up at West Ham. 
Look. Liverpool more like it. No, Liverpool. Look. He's going to get a good job. Look. All I'm... He's not going down your West Ham. Look. And if they want their rubbish swept up, they can get someone else to do it. <laughs> oh, Brian, will you shut up, you daft great pie can? <laughs> Got nothing to do with brooms, is it? Bobby Moore is a sweet Ernie. Yeah, and he'd be better off with a bloody broom. <laughs> you know nothing. You know nothing, ignorant Skarsket. Bloody sight better than your Liverpool mob. Get off, mate. We've got the best team in the first division oh, yeah. and the best supporters. Yeah. Come on, I mean, our reserves get better gates than West Ham do. Yeah. Hey, listen, we get the best attendances in the country and feels packed every game. You know why, don't you? So they never got a work in bloody Liverpool, is <laughs> in Liverpool than anywhere else in the bloody country, mate. Yes. They work like blacks up there. Yeah, well, most of them are, aren't they? <laughs> Either that or mix that. I don't know idle lot they are. Do you know what? They get their strike players that go in the ground up there. I mean, to hear them talk, you'd think the old Liverpool was always out and strike. Listen, I'll tell you something, mate. When they strike in Liverpool, it's for something important. Oh, yeah, like what? Like a decent living way. Oh, yeah. And what happens when they get it, eh? What happens? I'll tell you, Shirley Temple, what happens, see? <laughs> they go out, they go out and buy themselves 24-inch colour TV sets, and then they start to go slow, so they have more time to sit at home and bloody well watch it. <laughs> and you can shut up and all! <laughs> well, I'm glad you don't go on strike anyway. I wouldn't dream of it. No. Got too much pride in my work. Yeah. Too much sense of duty. But I'm pleased. Good. Cos I couldn't bear to think of you being around the house any more than what you are now. <laughs> <laughs> Not me to feel wanted, isn't it? <laughs> nice to be loved, eh? <laughs> I don't know what you're packing on about. Cos you're getting just as bad. Hey? My feelings for you aren't much different. What, me? Yes, you! You're becoming a bleeding boy, you are. All you ever talk about is football and politics. Oh, blimey, I don't know. Ever since you've had that baby and stopped working, you've become a proper little housewife. Stop working? Yeah, you know what I mean. You can't talk about anything now that doesn't happen inside these four walls. What well, do prisoners talk much about the outside world? Oh, come on, Finn. Love, give it over. You're bloody prisoner. You can get out. You know you can. Well, unless I take him with me. Well, you... You don't have him all the time, do you? Well, what do I do with him then? Well, you... <sighs> Mum will have him. You'll have him, won't you, Mum? Yeah. There you are. <laughs> Why can't you have him? Yeah, sure, of course, sure. All right. Have him tomorrow afternoon, then. Hey? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. no, I can't have him tomorrow, can I? Why not? Well, I've got the Arsenal, I? I mean, the pool are down here. I mean, you've got to support the lads now, haven't you? Take him with you, then. Hey? <laughs> Can't I? Don't be tough, love. I can't. Why not? not? to Arsenal. You're always talking about buying him football boots and football and starting him early, aren't you? I know, love. I yes. know, but, 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 I, but I can't, can I? Oh, not to Arsenal. I mean, not to Mother. I mean, well, I haven't got a ticket for him, have I? <laughs> <laughs> Just the same if you had. So you ain't going to West Ham tomorrow, then? Well, You've got to be joking. What, go down to West Ham and watch all that crap when the pool's down here? Get off, mate. Listen, I'm going to watch a proper game of football tomorrow, kid. Yeah. I'm going to bed. Hey, Come on, Alfie. Alfie? Yes. Oh, what? I'll have him, dear. Oh, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Let him have his say. <laughs> Not as facts, isn't it? Fact? Yes, mate, facts. According to you. Not according to me, Mr. Toole, not according to me at all. It's a well-known fact that your German cannot think on the left side of his brain. <laughs> <laughs> cobblers. I ain't cobblers, mate. It's in your Maver's Book of Wars, isn't it? In his history of arms. God blimey, it's inherent with your own, isn't it? It's like a Teutonical weakness, you see. I mean, your brutes approved that of Waterloo, didn't he? And your fuck, he revealed it on a song. <laughs> he revealed, see, with his right pincer. <laughs> you shut up. <laughs> he revealed with his right pincer, fuck, that your un cannot think on his left. Oh, blimey, it's a fact. There's my dad knew that, told me all about it. But my dad knew him inside and out. <laughs>
Lived with him for years, he did. Your dad was never in Germany? Oh, he was in France, wasn't he? Fighting them? Not all the time. They used to have parties, too. <laughs> parties? Yeah. Blimey, wars was different in them days, were not they? It was a bit more civilised. More civilised? Mm. Listen, probably there were more men killed in that war than nearly all the other bloody wars put together. Well, some got hurt. Some got hurt. <laughs> Admit that. I mean, you expect that in a war, don't you? Oh, blimey. I mean, you can't have a war without a few people getting hurt, can you? <laughs> no, see, what being my more civilised, see? My dear. What? <laughs> Look. See, my dad said that, like, well, they used to keep up the seasons more, see, out there. So getting here to Christmas, one of our lot, I go over and see one of their lot and fix up as to what time on Christmas Eve they knock off, see? <laughs> and then, like, they, my dad said to get the booze out, have a sing-song, have a game of football in your no man's land, and my dad said not one word out of place. And did your dad say that after Christmas was over, it was bang, bang, back to work, more killing before the Christmas pudding was even digested? Well, that's what it was out there for, you stupid little bitch, wasn't it? <laughs> he was German, wasn't he? <laughs> oh, my dad. <laughs> oh, blimey, I always knew he had the touch of the adults about him. No, no, no. I wasn't talking about your dad. No one ever knew what he was. Some said he was a jeppo. <laughs> I'm talking about him, <laughs> her husband, Albert. He don't look very well there, do he? Who? <laughs> oh. Albert. Oh, blimey, you silly great move. Albert ain't on that picture. Albert was dead when that picture was took. I was right then, wasn't I? Couldn't have been very well, could he? <laughs> hey. Look, the one sitting next to her here, it, on the, it, it's, a, it's her son, isn't it? The Prince of Wales. King Teddy to be. That the one your dad knew? No, my dad didn't know him. Well, you're always saying you'd going out drinking with him. Yeah, you used to think was always down the pub together. Not that one, not that Prince of Wales. My dad didn't know him. Well, if you ask me, the only Prince of Wales your dad ever knew was the one that stood on the corner of Mary Street. <laughs> you sure that's not the Prince of Wales your dad used to know? Yes. Well, he's wearing West Ham colours up there, mate. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. <laughs> no. The Prince of Wales that my dad used to know was him. The Duke of Windsor Prince of Wales, that one. He don't look old enough to drink. Look, you. Oh. <laughs> did, he, did, he, did he say prince or princess? Well, because it looks more like a bird than a fellow. <laughs> all right, all right. No, very funny. Very, don't be so bloody facetious, the pair of you. I'm going to learn you something, aren't I? Here. His mum used to dress him up in an outfit like that. <laughs> what, a little jacket and a mini skirt? Yeah. Oh. Did you wear knickers underneath? <laughs> no, that do. No matter what you say, that is a great picture, that is, isn't it? That is four generations of royals there, that is. Must be a lot of bush blood in them. Couldn't they think with the left side of their brain either? Yeah. He couldn't speak English at all, Albert couldn't. Neither on the left nor on the right side of his brain. <laughs> Queen Victoria, she had to learn to speak German so she could talk to him. Well, someone had a bloody well talk to him, didn't they? Why? <laughs> why? Because she was his wife, that's why. Well, if he was anything like you... He was a good man, he was. He wasn't like you, then. He was... <laughs> <laughs> he was like one of us. Well, he was, he was German, you know, but he was... More like one of us, really. He was. Well, more like English, really, than German. He was, well, he'd done, a, he'd done a lot. Done a lot for the working classes, he did. Like his great grandson. Oh, right. blimey, he'd done a lot down the East End, he did. Done a lot down the East End? What's he done down the East End? I'll tell you what he'd done down the East End, your Prince Consul. He opened nine new unemployment exchanges for a start. <laughs> <laughs> well, the way Ted eats going, he's bad to do better than that, mate. I am not talking to you. I wouldn't mention you and him in the same breath. Oh. Yeah, he'd have been king, wouldn't he, young Edward, if he hadn't met that woman. I said at the time, no good would come of that, going out with her. Only hope young Charles waits till the right one comes along. Oh, no, Mummy, it wasn't like that. He really loved that woman. That was one of the best love stories ever. That was better than Romeo and Juliet. Oh. Yes. I never saw that film. <laughs> he gave up everything for the love of one woman. Ah. 
Yeah. Even it's football. <laughs> yeah. More than some men we know. Mm. A load of cobblers love it. And nothing to do with love. It was politics, wasn't it? Done that for his country. He did marry and all. It would, what he knew what he was doing. See, what he was try trying to do there was... Uh, <laughs> to cement your Anglo-American relations. See? A bloody daft ball in. He couldn't see it. He was thick, he was. Almost as thick as your bloody Wilson. It was love. See, if Edward had had his way, we'd had an English king and American queen on the throne. Well, cool, blimey, that'd have been worth a few bob to us, wouldn't it? <laughs> really, Yanks would pay a bit to get one of their mob on our throne, see? And they might have come in our wars a bit earlier, too. <laughs> uh, he knew what he was doing, young Edward. He had his head screwed on all right, he did. Oh, blimey. Yeah, he'd have probably made West Ham by royal appointment to them. West Ham by royal appointment? You don't have to talk a load of cobble as you do. Well, why not? He was always down West Ham, wasn't he? He was always there, drinking in the bowling. Oh, blimey, we've got a royal tradition at West Ham, haven't we? I mean, hey. Ames, Ames bowling, that is. Well, she, was, she had a house next door to the ground, didn't she? <laughs> He's not interested in football, you know that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And what about your Lord Harewood, eh? Hey? Your Queen's cousin. He's a member of Leeds, he is. Oh, does he play for them, then? <laughs> she don't, you silly moo. Well, I didn't see him at the cup final. He was in the royal box with our Macy the Queen, wasn't he? Explaining her the tactics. Oh, blimey, he's more valuable than a player he is, because he's the one who buys all the players. Get off me, don't buy the player for Leeds, you bird. Oh, don't he? Oh, don't. Well, if he don't, who does then? Hey, answer me that, Shirley Temple. Who does? Don <laughs> Revy, the manager. And that's where you're wrong, and it? it might appear to. I'll grant you that. It might appear to, see? But all he's doing is fronting for your Lord here. Nah, don't rubbish. No, really? answer me. Who bought Bremner for Leeds? And your Giles? And your Jackie Charlton, Mickey Jones, and Clark? Who bought them? Don <laughs> Revy. No, you're wrong. God, I mean, he fancied them for Leeds. I'll grant you that he fancied them, Don. Revy, but he, he's only the manager. God, stuff, he couldn't afford to buy him, not on what he earns. <laughs> see, what happened here? He went, Don Revy, he went to see your Lord Airwood, see? And he said to him, he said, Your Majesty, he said, I fancy them players. And Lord Airwood said, So be it, Don. Oh. <laughs> and Don Revy said, Unfortunately, he said, they are a bit beyond my means. And Lord Airwood said, don't worry about it, Don. He said, I'll fix it up. I'll flog a couple of paintings, which he done. You know. <laughs> Got a couple of his family heirlooms. And I'll tell you something else. Prince of Wales, Duke of Windsor, God rest his soul. If he'd become king and stuck with West Ham, he'd have done the same for us. He'd have flogged the crown jewels for West Ham, he would. <laughs> and if he'd have made us royal, oh, blimey, we could have had a pick of England then, couldn't we? Hey? Martin Peters. And Jeffy Hurst, they couldn't have left, could they? No. Because it would have been bloody treasonable. Uh, <laughs> he could have picked a better side than Alf Ramsey. Yeah, and that ain't much. You know, it's always been a mystery to me why young Prince Charles ain't taken over his great uncle's season tickets down at West End. <laughs> why, did that go with the job? Then I suppose if he comes on leave and wants to see a game, it can always ring up Reg Pratt and get a seat in the director's box, eh? <laughs> well, better get down there, see him run out. You're a bit early, aren't you? Yeah, well, you've got to get there early, you know. Get a programme. Study the opposition. <laughs> See who they're putting out against us. Have, like, a little pre-match assessment of the tactics we're going to employ. You know, like, if we're going to play a 3-4-3 three, three, or... a 3-3... Three, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if we're going to use the dominant wings with a... Orthodox cross. <coughs> w formation or come storming out of defence with a long through ball. You're going out the pub, aren't you? Up <laughs> 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 <Have> your man! Up <laughs> <Have> your royal! <laughs> oh. Yeah. Royal West End. Say that happened, eh? Say he'd been king and made us that, eh? Oh. See it now. Them lads coming out. <laughs> Claret and blue. Raw nipples. <laughs> the raw standard upon the left breast. And up there, upon eye, 
in the director's box. Him, in his full regalia. Couldn't be, could it? Couldn't be. Bloody women. goes up must come down, but prices don't. They just go up and up. I mean, they put men on the moon, and even they come down. Prices don't. They just go up and up. Well, look, that's been slashed. That's been slashed down. Yeah, slashed down twice what it was last month. <laughs> Because oh, I mean, God, you know. Can't. No, you haven't got enough. Should have got three tins. Where's the plan? What? Oh, my baby's gone! My baby's gone! Oh, my baby's gone! Oh, my baby's gone! Come back here, Rita. in his bare feet, that one. Lays up his feet and toes. <laughs> oh, good God, look it. We've got a bleeding dummy down there now, look. Get it. Well, don't tread all over it. It's a baby dummy. Have a bit of consideration. It's uh, not cry. It's all right. We'll find it for you. We know we'll find it. That's not a bloody dummy, is it, a doll? Baby dummy. Get oh, it in there first. It's dirty, isn't it? Ain't dirty, mate. It's sunny. Not dirty, is it? Yeah, dirt. Never hurt anybody. All right, all right. It's coming. Here, wait a minute. I'll put it in the, in the milk. Here, yeah, it's. Ain't milk, mate, is it? That's better than any of milk, and that is. Of course it is. It's the best thing in the world, that is. Here, go on then. 
It's old Pratt, you know. Oh, where's Pratt? It's him. Shut up and listen when I'm talking. <laughs> See? It's him what buys all the coons here. Well, old Greenwood, he don't want the coons here. It's us old reeds. See, it's all your cheap labour. See, what he, what he can't use, what he can't use in his sawmills, he bungs out here on a Saturday afternoon. <laughs> Yeah, there he is, there he is, look, look, there's Bobby, there look, Bobby Moore, number six, number six, England West End, look, look, there he is, look, 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 Bobby Moore, there, you'll be there, you'll be there one day, my old son, shut up, will you, when I'm talking, I don't know what I brought you for, honestly, oh, well, you'll be there one day, out there, number six, England, West End. That's it. Ding, 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 ding. On the red bar blow. See, let's put this in. Ding, ba, boom. Ring, ti, ba, boom, ti. Ding. Look, it's something. It's a musical friend, isn't it? Hey, one, two, three. Happy Hammond! I'll make all that bleeding round. I'd wake him up, I'll wake Yelling at my bleeding nose, oh, shut up! Look, what's a bleeding game? I, I brought you here, watch it, what's the matter with you? We oh, haven't found him yet, then, Mrs. Garney, go. Baby, I'm going to took him! Someone mental, shut up! <laughs> no, no, don't worry, they'll find him. Someone took him because... They're mental. <laughs> Shut up! They'll find him. Someone a bit tough, that's who's cooking. <laughs> Shut you're, up! It's your fault! My fault! Someone who's a bit loony, <laughs> that's who's cooking. Someone who's fair in. Shut up! Someone a screw loose. <laughs> One of them mad people. <laughs> Probably gypsies. <laughs>